Oh shit. What up? I missed a week. Who fucking cares? Skid skid mother yucker. Anyway, today's video. I ain't got time for these shitty intros because you know, holiday yo. Motherfucking top 10 channel. We all know they're they're just pointless. We all know that they, they, they don't need to be on YouTube. Why are they still here? I don't know. Why people watch them? Again, I don't know. Fucking stupid. I am still yet to see the benefit of them being on YouTube. Like, I ain't hating on them. Well, I pretty much am. But seriously, what, what do we benefit out of them? Normally, gaming videos, you find out stuff that, about different games that you didn't know about. You get past, like, levels that you couldn't get past yourself. Like, apart from knowing pointless shit, I, I, I honestly, I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't get it. But, Will, your videos are fucking stupid and pointless, too. You're fucking right. Well done. We got Einstein in the comment section. We definitely needed you over here. Welcome. I think the, the origin of the top 10 channels was probably the top 5 beasts of the week. People were able to submit their clip to top 5 beasts of the week and then potentially see their clip on top 5 beasts of the week. Which personally I think that's pretty cool because you can see your clip. Top 10, you, you benefit nothing from it. You don't gain any subs, you don't get a small little shout out. Like they just re they, they report on the most fucking stupidest shit ever. You just get nothing from it. So I still, again, do not see the point in it. No word of a lie, these are actual fucking video titles I'm reading from a top 10 channel. 25 pictures that look dirty but aren't. Top 10 most controversial YouTuber. 25 parents you won't believe actually exist. 10 hottest female celebrity booties. Who the fuck uses the word booty? 10 hottest female celebrity booties ever. Why? Why? I'm scrolling through this YouTube channel. The only thing I see is how to get big on YouTube the pussy way. And what also fucking pisses me off, right, is that these top 10 channels, the most clickbaitiest thumbnails in the fucking world. Like, I'm just gonna put a few or maybe fill the whole screen with clickbait thumbnails, and you can tell me, you can tell me whether you think it's clickbait or not. If you don't see that these thumbnails are clickbait, then obviously you need to go kill yourself because blatantly you are visually impaired. And the worst thing is, five hundred, nearly 500,000 subscribers. Kill me now. Right, I'm just probably going to switch to top 10 channels with clickbait thumbnails and titles. Because obviously it's working. It's how you make it on the YouTube game. I find that so fucking frustrating. How people actually watch their videos. Actually feed them money and views. Just for a little bit of pointless information. Clickbait thumbnails and clickbait titles. Normally the person commentating the video is the most dullest person ever with the shittest editing I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I ain't no editing star, at least I know how to put a PNG image over the top of a video file properly. But to summarize this video, if you want top 10 tips on how to get a big dick, click here! But in all serious, no, I, I don't hate these channels, it just pisses me off how, how much exposure they get for what they do. Another quick note, I am going on holiday on Thursday the 4th of August for two weeks. Now I have got videos ready for the Wednesdays that I upload. If you'd like me to make a few vlogs in Turkey, I can definitely do that if you'd like to see that. But they'll be uploaded and edited for like when I come back. So just leave in the comment section now whether you'd like to see me vlog. Uh, if not, I'll just le leave it and just upload my normal videos. But if you did like this video, leave a like. Sorry I missed last week. You know, I just, like, motivation is just gone at the moment. But if you did like the video, please leave a like. And I'll see you later.